you are all aware of how serious of a problem burns are. However, you may not have been aware that a large portion of these burns do not come from fire. They come from hot liquids, such as hot beverages, boiling water, and even running hot water. 60% of all these liquid burns, called scalds, happen to young children under the age of four. Scalds account for three-quarters of all burns that happen to young children. In 2014, 33.7% of all burns were scalds. Hot liquids can burn just as easily as fire can. Liquid burns, or scalds, are caused when your skin is exposed to extremely hot liquids, generally of 120 degrees Fahrenheit or more. At that temperature, it takes five minutes to obtain a third-degree burn. This means that if the temperature of your shower is too hot, then five minutes of standing there can burn your entire body. A water temperature of 155 degrees can give you a burn in as little as one second. Most water heaters have a default setting of 140 degrees, which can give a burn in about five seconds. Also, Dunkin' Donuts coffee is generally served at a temperature of 165 to 180 degrees, which can burn in under a second. Wait before you take a sip, unless you want to seriously burn your tongue. Symptoms of scalds, and all burns for that matter, generally include a hot, painful burning feeling, redness, swelling, and in the case of more serious burns, whiteness and blistering. When a burn occurs, do not touch the burn directly. Place the burned area under cold running water for 10 minutes, unless, of course, that burned area is your mouth, in which case you should rinse it with salt water to disinfect it, and then avoid eating anything that might aggravate it, such as spicy, crunchy, or citrusy foods. If a scald is no longer superficial and has gone deeper than the skin, do not use ice. Rather, use cold water. Only use ice on superficial skin burns. The fact that a vast majority of scalds happen to young children signifies that they were very likely caused by lack of awareness and or carelessness. When placing pots and pans containing hot liquids on a stove or countertop, don't place it on the edge, and always have the handle facing inward. This greatly reduces the risk of the contents spilling onto anything or anyone, and it prevents young children from trying to grab it, spilling it onto themselves in the process. With regard to your hot beverages, Never carry a full cup of hot drink without a saucer or lid to avoid spilling it on yourself. And never take your first sip immediately or you will burn your tongue. Wait several minutes before drinking it. Hot beverages account for approximately 15% of all burns. Be careful. About 240,000 people are scalded each year. Simply raising awareness of this could seriously lower these numbers. Teach your children how dangerous hot liquids can be today and exercise a little more caution yourself. It'll make a real difference.